Hey YouTube, happy Thanksgiving. Let's uh, let's talk about gains, AS3X, and the Safe Select gains. And a lot of the general questions are, you know, what are they? What happens if I change them? Well, let's just demonstrate all this. On the screen is my IX12 transmitter. That way I can show you guys in real time what we're doing. This right here is a one of a kind test foam board airplane that does not fly. It is simply to learn on the little blue flag acts as the as the motor. As we uh, give it full throttle, the flag moves. Throttle cut is on now. Each of the control surfaces are a different color so that we can point at things. You know, hey, look at the yellow elevator. We got red and green uh, let me get it right. The, the ailerons. A ailerons. Uh, now I'm working on that. I'm working on it. So let's just go to forward programming. That's where we can see the gains. If you want to win this jet, all you have to do is subscribe. Click the notification bell and the like button. Then check back with me from time to time and see my new videos. Once we get to a thousand, we're going to do a drawing. I had a drawing at 100 and only 30% signed up. With those odds, it could be a 1 in 300 chance. Subscribe. Check me out, guys. And talk about them in real time. The gains, why they're called gains, I don't know. But that is the level of sensitivity for the gyro to help counteract the wind, and that is the level of sensitivity to help you in safe select. Safe select keeps the plane level or it has limited bank angles, a couple different settings. You know, how fast do you want it to help you is a level of gains. Let's say uh, you are not flying in safe and the plane was headed, you know, straight for the ground. Well, then you turned on safe. If the plane immediately, bam! was level. That would be real high gains. If the gains were really low and you know your plane is hauling butt and it's headed straight for the pavement or what have you and you turn on safe and it starts to think about pulling up you know those are low gains. So gyro settings the gyro is the <clears throat> the brain inside the receiver that does the AS3X and the safe select once again the AS3X is only for wind you get a gust of wind it blows the you know the plane to the left the gyro will kick in move whatever control service that it needs to put the plane back where it was at it's uh it's your cruise control and as you go up a hill your cruise control starts to give your car a little more throttle to you know keep up with the anticipation of the hill slowing the car down so, <clears throat> AS3X settings, AS3X gains, this is the default setting in the smart receivers. Two separate receivers do safe select and AS3X. The original ones was the 636, the 6335, the 9335, there's a 7335, there was a, several of them that did AS3X and only the 636 did safe select. A couple others, but they weren't spectrum receivers like that. So, 40, 50, 60, roll is 40%, pitch is 50, the yaw, which is the rudder, is 60. So, with that being said, let's get back out and I'll show you guys here in real time exactly what that is. So we are back out. <clears throat> you see the you see the rudder dancing like that? That is high gains. Let's settle the plane down. So if you're if you're flying and a gust of wind, you know, just you see the ailerons move? Those are really high gains. 
So let's change the gains. We're going to go back to forward programming. And we'll change the gains to a really low setting. So we'll take that 40 and bring it down to 13. Sure. The pitch, that tail was going crazy. Let's take it down to 13 also. And then uh, the yaw, which is the rudder. We really didn't mess with the rudder, but. Okay, so we've lowered them drastically. Let's back out so we can see it in action. All right, so with the gains at the 40, 50, 60, we just barely bumped it. And the elevator was going crazy. The ailerons were doing stuff. Not a whole lot of activity right there. Let's watch the elevator here. So we get a gust of wind. See, as I, if, when I lift up the back of the plane, a gust of wind blows the tail up. Well, then the elevator goes up to try to counteract. But the gains are set really low right now. So there's gains, high and low how they act, why they act, per setting. Let's go back here. All right, see the ailerons? So we get a gust of wind, it's gonna blow this right wing up. The aileron should go up with it. The gains are too, too low in this case. If a gust of wind blows up the wing, then the gyro thinks about helping it. The gust of wind is long gone when it's reacting. So therefore those are low gains. So the gust of wind blows the wing up and then the plane comes down on its own and the gyro still helping it. So just for good measure, we'll go back to forward programming and we'll increase the gains real quick for one last go round. All right, so the roll, 54, okay. Pitch, that rudder going, was going crazy. So let's, the 40, 50, 60, I think, uh, let's leave it right there. And the yaw right there. Let's back out of it again. See the difference? The, we've raised the gains. Now they're pretty, uh, pretty uh, spicy. We'll call it. Look at that. They're really high now. Look at them going crazy. So a gust of wind is going to blow this left wing up, and watch the aileron. Boy, it comes up fast. So you would, you would want really fast high gains in a jet. You know, your jet's hauling butt, it's flying 100 miles an hour. When you want AS3X to help you out, you want it now. Flying a slow flyer, you know, uh, the Apprentice or the, the Beaver or something like that, you would want lower gains because it's flying slower. So here's our elevator. Remember it was 40, 50, 60. We changed it to like 32 or something. It still comes up pretty quick. And then the rudder. So there you go. Gains. Well, hope that helped a few of you out. We got a four day weekend. Once again, happy Thanksgiving. I hope everybody has a good weekend and does uh, exactly what you guys want to do on this holiday weekend. Four day weekend for me. I'm going to try to fly. Uh, tomorrow Thanksgiving Day and then you know it gets dark around 430 and then at the skilled nursing facility where my mom is they're doing a Thanksgiving dinner for uh, you know obviously the residents and then family members at six o'clock so I'm gonna fly until uh, 
probably pretty close to dark and then come home and get a shower and grab uh, my mom's uh, dog Astro and take him with me and go eat Thanksgiving dinner with my mom at the at the facility where she's at. This will probably be the first time I've had Thanksgiving dinner with my mom hmm, since like 1994 and uh, maybe maybe 96 I moved uh, away from home in 95 so I gotta think about the old memory so but that'll be cool so all right guys hey four day weekend I got a lot of uh, a lot of video ideas in the pipeline so if uh, if you have a question or a video idea leave them in the comments of uh, this video and I'll run through it and uh, maybe if we see something that I can do and and uh, it'll help one of you guys out we'll do a video on it so that's all I got for this one. Oh, we got uh, 41 more people to go and then we hit a thousand so yes all right guys hey until next time you see me here yep oh yeah yep ring the bell so you get notified of my next video adios